and welcome to my channel. My name is Lynn and I thought that I might shoot this video to show you the different tools I have for creating my own notebooks, journals, uh, planners, and basically it comes down to two different binding styles and um, if you've seen any of my previous videos you may recognize these projects because I do have tutorial videos on each of them. But it comes down to, at least what I have in my craft room, there are a lot of different binding styles and a lot of different tools out there. But I just want to share what I have and why I maybe sometimes use one over the other or why I, you know, have made certain purchases. If you're in the market for, um, you know, looking for a binding system, hopefully this video will help. There are, as I mentioned, two different binding systems. The first is wire loop binding, and these are the um, the hardware that you use are these me uh, metal coils, and you can see on the inside here is the seam where the two ends of the coil are pinched together and meet up so that closes all of your pages inside. That's one style of binding that I do. Then the other is the disc bound system. The hardware that you need for that are these discs which are available in plastic. You can get metal discs as well. And similar to the uh, loop or wire binding, um, you can get them in different diameters too. So if you want to create something that's a little bit chunkier, has more pages, then you can get these discs and you can get these loops in different diameter circles. So uh, those are the types of projects that you can create. Let me show you the products that I happen to have in my craft room. And I'm gonna give a quick overview of each, but I'll uh, go a little bit more in depth, not to show how to use it, but give you um, a more in-depth uh, tour, so to speak, of the products. So the first one I have here is the planner punch board. Comes with different punches for different shapes. I'll go through that in more detail. But just as a summary conclusion, if that's kind of all you're looking to get, this punch board is great for if you have a store-bought um, planner, journal, notebook, binder, etc. that you want to add more pages to, then you can use the various punches that come included or add-on sets that you can purchase. And because all of these punches are separate, you can actually slot them into different locations along this punch board to match up with um, your store-bought binder, journal, etc. So this is really great because it's adjustable where you decide to put your holes and you can use it to kind of match something that you may already have and you Perhaps you like the cover of it and you just want to add some more pages to it. This is great for that. And in fact, because it was designed with that in mind, there's an actual table on the back of this that actually lists out some really popular brands and styles of binders, notebooks, planners, and it even tells you the paper size that you need to cut down and the location for where you need to put the punches um, in these slots in order to, to match those styles. And of course, if you own something that's not on this list, you can always just sort of hold up the edge of your existing um, paper that goes into that binder and then just try to line up these punches as closely as you can to match. So that's one product. This is from We Are Memory Keepers and in fact all of all of the tools I'm about to show are from We Are Memory Keepers because uh, it's a brand that I trust and I like and their uh, products are um, really great. The second item that I bought was the Cinch. This is the full size. It does come in a smaller mini version 
And I don't have the mini version, so I'm not 100% sure on all of the differences between the two. But um, this one's really great. It will help you to create this style of notebook with the um, wire loop binding system. With um, this type of system or this type of binding, one thing that you need to kind of keep in mind is that there is uh, something called the pitch. And the pitch on your wire loops is, uh, it references the number of these loops for every one inch. And so the cinch is specifically designed for two to one pitch. So for every one inch, there are two loops. They come in um, multiple diameters. So the diameter is this way around and it will kind of show you, or it will govern how many pages you can fit into your notebook. And so you can see the different, the different sizes there. And just to give you an idea, um, this is two to one pitch, so this will work for the cinch. However, this the smaller piece here, these loops are actually closer together. If I can put the two here, you can sort of match up and see that this one, um, in fact, this is a three to one pitch where for every one inch, there's actually three loops. So this sort of wire won't fit into the holes that are punched with the cinch. So that's something to keep in mind. If you are going to get the cinch, you wanna be sure that you're getting wires that are specifically two to one pitch so that you can, so that the holes will match up. So that's, um, this system, it's great because it will punch the holes. It has a guide on the side here where you can, you can hang your loop in order to, right on the right hand side here, you can hang your loop and then um, feed your pages into your loop. And then on the back here, you can um, pinch these wires closed and complete your project. So this has everything that you would need to bind your notebook. And then my most recent <laughs> purchase is this little guy, this is the disc cinch. It is a mini version. So if you got the mini version of the original cinch, it's I think it's probably the exact same size or at least a similar footprint. It's smaller, but that's not the key difference. The key difference is that this is a disc cinch. And so this will actually punch the mushroom shaped holes in order to create notebooks that are disc bound, like this one here. And so um, so you would need your discs in this case, and um, this can punch four holes at a time. The larger cinch can um, punch 12 holes in one pass, but you can, of course, with both the mini disc cinch and the original full size cinch, you can punch projects that are wider or more narrow. So it's um, it's very flexible in that way. The great thing about these cinch machines, both of them, is that they are designed so that they're um, more heavy duty than the planner punch board. So what that ultimately enables you to do is punch through thicker materials um, or just more layers at one go. So that's the reason why I picked up um, the cinch and then now the disc cinch. I've been getting by pretty okay with my planner punch board, but I want to start making um, notebooks, disc bound planners as gifts to give away. And so it's helpful to have something that will punch through thicker material like a lightweight or heavyweight chipboard or be able to actually assemble my cover completely with all of the pattern papers and everything and then punch in one go. So that's the benefit of having uh, either of the cinch machines because they are heavy duty and you can punch through thicker materials or more sheets of paper at the same time. Now the um, 
there is a crocodile um, disc hole punch that is also from We Are Memory Keepers, but that only lets you punch a single hole at a time. Although that is a little bit heavy duty, so I think you can punch through thicker materials with that one. But I like this because you can punch multiple holes, and so it'll be easier and faster if you have projects that are, you know, about this size, where this journal in particular has eight holes. So, um, and in fact, I made this one using the cinch, and I have a recent video showing how to use it. Um, so that's sort of the nutshell of it all, and so... I like using my um, cinch when I'm creating larger projects. Maybe I'm using some thicker materials. Maybe I'm doing things. I don't make anything to sell, but I do sometimes create lots of similar um, projects to give as gifts during the holidays. So, for example, I made um, these little coloring books for my nieces. And while I was at it, I made one for myself as well. So, um you know, that's, that's the extent to my quote, you know, mass production, which isn't really a lot, but it's still helpful to have a heavier duty machine to make that process faster, especially for holiday gift making where, you know, I make so much uh, for the holidays that whatever time I can save is um, of great benefit. So that's where the cinch machines are really nice because they're heavier duty. The Planner punch board is really nice because it's so customizable. There are lots of different shape of um, and styles of punches that go with it. So, you know, if you aren't going to do anything in multiples and you just want a lot of versatility, this this is a great product because you have ultimate flexibility in terms of being able to punch holes for disc bound, being able to punch holes for wire loop binding. Now this does not include anything that's going to help you uh, crimp these clothes, but if you wanted, you could just push this clothes by hand um, yourself. It's not gonna be as you know uh, consistent or precise, but it's possible to do because the metal isn't, isn't that thick. Um, so for versatility and if um, in my case, I don't I don't need it for this purpose. But if you do have an existing store bought planner or notebook that you want to punch holes to put into, then this will help you to match something that is pre existing, because you can choose where where to place the holes. So let me show you in a little bit more detail um, each of these machines because now that I've kind of given you the summary of you know why I have so many different <laughs> items and what each of them are good for. Let me dive into each. I'll timestamp this video so if you're interested in any one particular item you can jump just to that section. But since I have this in front of me now let me go through the mini disc cinch. So I was thinking that I might want to wait and t to see if a full-size version comes up but I thought um, I'd rather just have this now because I make so many um, planners uh, for now for myself, but I do want to start making planners and journals um, on the disbound system as gifts. And so I went ahead and picked this one up. There, uh, It's rather small, so it's a nice footprint. There's a metal uh, clip, sorry, of sorts that helps you hold down the handle. So that just, you know, makes it a little bit smaller, easier to store. And on the um, on the cinch itself, there is this table here, and this is a guide for um, how to punch evenly uh, your holes based on the stretch of paper or the edge that you are uh, punching your holes in. So if your paper ends in a whole number, th then you would choose guide location A. If it ends in uh, 3 eighths a quarter or half, you would choose B and so on. Those letters A, B, and C refer to these locations. So you would just take out your little guide here, put it into whichever letter location um, you looked up on your table, and then when you go to punch, you would 
push your paper up against that guide. So, so that's how you know um, how to line up. And I have a specific video I actually just released on how to use this mini cinch. So if you want, I'll leave a link to that in the upper right hand corner, um, which goes through in much more detail and you'll actually see me using it. But as I mentioned before, even though this only punches four holes at a time, you can make projects smaller if you want. And on here, there's a centering guide. So let's say if you know that your piece of paper is, let me measure this. So let's say this piece of paper is four and three quarters. So I can look on the ruler here. This doesn't, um, is it four and three quarters? Sorry, four and three eighths. <laughs> so four and three eighths, you would just line that up so that um, it, this doesn't have eighth of an inch marked, but you can kind of eyeball it and you can see whether the distance, you know, is the same or equal on both sides. And that will punch out holes exactly centered. So you can always use the centering ruler if you're punching smaller projects. If you're punching um, wider projects, you can punch one set of holes. And then on the side here, there's a locking mechanism. So you can push this down and lock it into a previously punched hole and then continue your punching. So the, by locking it into this hole, it guarantees that the spacing is consistent between holes. So um, you can see they've drawn on here where, where your holes would be punched and you have no control over the spacing, over the positioning. You can't control which holes get punched or not all four will always get punched. It's just a matter of whether it's going to hit your piece of paper or not. <laughs> so um, if you if you lined up your paper so that it's like this, for example, this last hole will not obviously uh, punch through your paper because your paper isn't under it. But the actual metal that goes down to punch the hole, it will go down. And if something was under there, it, it would get punched. So um, so that's the mini cinch. And of course it does have um, this little tray here that actually holds all of the um, pieces of paper that get punched out. So you're not making a mess on your table. Just be sure to empty that every once in a while. That's the mini cinch. Then, uh, because I had it here a second ago, let me jump to the planner punch board. I believe when you buy the planner punch board, you get this planner punch board and these six uh, punches with it. And separately, you can buy this set of punches. And I, I bought mine on... Amazon and everything came bundled together. So you may be able to find um, a similar bundle and maybe get a better price than buying them separately. Let me go through these set of punches. So these are basically just circle punches and, and you can use it to punch a single circle if you want. Um, it doesn't always have to be for a notebook or a planner. But the idea is that these are great for binders, something like a three ring binder or planners that are um, bound by those metal ring binders. So you can punch these holes for systems like that. And as I mentioned, if you look at the back here, there are some two ring albums, three ring albums, Filofax pocket. So lots of different different brands, different um, sizes. There's Franklin Covey. So um, there's a Heidi Swap one as well. So if you're using one of these um, brands, one of these styles of binders, you can look up uh, the paper size and the location that you would need to place your punch. So on this board itself, there's... Um, it's actually etched into the plastic, so it's not going to fade away or rub away or anything. But there are these little grooves, and they are all numbered. So those are the locations that are referenced on that table. And so when you are going to um, make your project, what you would do 
is line up your punch. There's also a little um, protrusion here. You can just line that up with whichever number is on that table and that will um, match up with those pre-existing um, or store-bought planners. So that's this set of holes. These are just your plain holes. Um, the fact that they are separate like this means that you can you can also just you know use this as a as a hole punch to punch a hole through your project. Now this was 120 pound paper and there was a little bit of resistance. So these punches are not really meant to um, punch through super thick materials. So I, I wouldn't put heavyweight cardstock. You, what might end up happening is you might start to punch through and can't get it all the way through and all the way back out. So your punch, um, that metal might get stuck. And, um, and it might take a, 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 you know, significant effort to kind of release it. So, you know, this isn't really meant to be heavy duty, but if you are okay with punching through thinner materials, if you like, um, if you don't need to punch a, a lot at a time, then, then, um, you know, this is going to work just fine. The add-on set of punches that I got are these here and they again give you a lot of flexibility because this set here which are um, a little they look a little bit different from these ones but they still have that same little um, protrusion that help you to set them into your punch board so you can punch uh, using your board each of these is slightly different from the other though, but they are meant to punch holes for your wire loop binding. So that's the style of notebook. And um, the cool thing about this is that I talked about the pitch, um, which is the spacing between the loops. This actually gives you three of the most common, I don't know, I've actually haven't heard of any um, uh, outside of these three. So this is a two to one pitch. We have three to one and we have four to one. And I can measure this so that you can see that that opening there, that's one inch. So you can see there's two holes per one inch, three holes per one inch and four holes per one inch. And if I bring in my wire, you can see how the loops line up perfectly with those holes. I don't have four to one, but that was two to one. And then here's my little bit of leftover three to one. So you can see that fits perfectly. Um, so with these three punches, you can punch for your loop binding. There isn't anything in here that's going to help you pinch these um, loops closed, but I'll just do one here. So you can see I can can do this by hand and pinch that close, but you know, as you saw me do, you know, it is possible to kind of bend it a little bit and, um, and you know, it's not precise. Maybe, um, you know, it's a little hard on the hands too, but it's, it's possible. Um, but there you have that. And so that's kind of a nice set to have. And you can do continuous punching, even though this only punches two holes at a time. What you can do is line up a previously punched hole with this drawn um, hole here. And that will guarantee that you're going to continue the appropriate spacing as you continue to punch more holes. So there is that set. Um, with this add-on set, there are also these mushroom um, hole punches uh, called that because they have that sort of half circle cap at the end and then this little stem um, below it. So these mushroom holes are what will let you do your disc bound notebooks and journals. And the great thing with a disc bound system is that 
the way the holes are punched, it, they are clear through the edge of the paper. So you can, um, you can pull your pages out, you can add more pages in, you can move things around. It's really nice and flexible in that way. And the planner punch board has six of these um, mushroom hole punches. They are the same shape, but there is a difference between the two. They've colored them differently so that you can easily tell uh, which is which. And here's the difference if we look closely. Pay attention to the mushroom head here. This one, see how it's a little bit closer to this left edge and there's more space here on the right edge. So this is closer to this edge. Whereas if you look on this set, that mushroom head is pretty well centered um, within this space. So that little bit may seem like it's not a lot of space, but if you are punching holes to go into an existing store-bought planner, it, it could make all the difference in terms of whether your page will actually fit into you know, your um, existing planner and if um, it will turn. Even though you may be able to fit it in, it may be off just enough to where it doesn't the pages don't flip or turn smoothly. And in fact, if I go to the bottom, this little um, chart came with the little add-on set that I bought, and it actually lists out similar um, or popular planners that are in the disk bound system, the top three being the happy planners in their mini classic and big. And it tells you the paper size for each of those, and it tells you not just the locations that need to get punched, but whether it's the pink one or the gold one that you need to put into that location. So um, this is very detailed and, and precise. So I love that they've thought about that because the whole um, benefit to this, one of the huge benefits is that if you have a system um, that you really already like, but you just want to refill it or you just want to add to it, supplement it with more um, of your own pages, you can um, do that with this because there are the different types of hole punches and this is completely customizable in terms of where you can put those hole punches along your page. So nothing is predetermined. You get to decide how many holes and where they go. And so that's that's the planner punch board. So even though it can't punch through a lot of layers at once, um, it, you can get, you can build up to thicker layers. So for example, when I made this one, what I did was I have one layer of pattern paper here. I have two layers of a hundred pound black cardstock and then another layer of pattern paper. And because I do like for my covers to be nice and sturdy, I would normally use chipboard, either lightweight, medium weight, uh, sometimes even a heavy weight. And uh, I didn't want to risk, you know, punching, trying to punch it and getting my, my punch stuck. So all I did was layered up a couple of sheets of 110 pound uh, cardstock and I punched them individually. So I punched the pattern paper by itself. I punched the, um, the cardstock, each of those by themselves. And I punched this piece of pattern paper by itself. So I had to run to make this cover. I had to punch four times um, each of the sheets individually, and then I glued everything together and um, and lined up the holes as best I could. And you know, it's not that hard to line up the holes. There's a chance that it's a little bit off, but um, but if you want something thicker, you can still achieve that with the planner punch board. Even though you can't do it all in one pass, you you can still make it work. So it's still possible. Um, but I did, as I mentioned, get the disc, the mini disc cinch because I want to do more of those and I just feel like it's worth it for me 
to make that investment and um, save myself a little bit of time and energy. Now for a little bit of a tour on the cinch. The cinch can punch 12 holes at a time. And the nice thing about this and sort of the reason why I was considering waiting to see if maybe they would release the full size disc version is that you can actually choose which of these pegs or which of the hole punches will actually get punched. So for example, if I pull out number eight here, one through seven will get punched, eight gets skipped, nine through 12 will get punched. And you can actually see as I pull down the lever, you can see the peg number eight is not going down. And in fact, see how everything's um, a little bit staggered up and down? That's one of the reasons why the cinch is easy, uh, easier on your hands and requires a little bit less effort and can still go through a lot of layers or different thicker materials is because not all of the punches are going through your paper at the same time. So as some are completing, others are just going through and um, it's just a little bit easier on your hands that way. So this um, can uh, punch all of those holes. You can punch wider than this and do continuous punching as well if you need. And um, it has the, uh, on the side here, as I mentioned, it's got this nice little spot to hang your wire. And then you can feed all of your pages in. Then on the back end here, this is where you actually close your wire shut to complete your binding. And um, so that's the nice thing. This can kind of do it all. It can you know punch all of your holes, lets you kind of load all the pages up into your ring and then close that ring off. This dial here is really key. Um, what this will allow you to do, it goes from three eighths of an inch to one and one quarter. So that's sort of the boundary on the diameter of ring that you can buy. So the smallest is three eighths and the largest is one and one quarter. And you just push down on this knob and you just turn it so that the um, height is adjusted. And I'll just show you. So if I turn it, you can see it's this plate here is going, it's going to move up and down. And so that's going to govern how far um, the maximum that this can go down in order to give you that precise, right now it's set to seven and seven eighths of an inch. So this gap here, once I close this handle all the way down, that's going to be 7 eighths of an inch. And I can't push it down any further. So you don't have to worry about pinching your loops down too too tightly or too, um, too closed. And um, you'll get that perfect closure every time. I believe, I'm not 100% on this because I don't own the mini cinch in the original um style i think when it comes to the loops uh that you can use i don't think you have this broad range um and something makes me think if i'm remembering correctly there's really only one size uh loop that you can use so i could be wrong on that if somebody knows please drop a comment um and and let us all know but I think that's one of the things that's a little bit different between the full size and the mini cinch. But that's um, that's one of the reasons why I have the full size is because it is versatile. So you can buy in for larger um, projects, smaller projects. I, I actually had to buy this because I was making desktop calendars and it got really bulky and chunky. And I actually needed to buy uh, this larger, I think it's like one inch or one and a quarter inch um, wire loop in order to finish uh, those projects. But um, that's the cinch and this also has a little tray compartment down here for all of the 
uh, holes that get punched out so you definitely want to empty that eventually but it's not just going to leave all of that on your table. So that is the cinch. So those are the three binding systems that I happen to have. They they all have a place in my craft room because um, they're all unique and they all have um, different pros and cons and um, I have crafted with all of these and have videos on all of them so if you want to see actual uh, me actually using these and uh, see them in um, use check out my we are memory keepers playlist because I have um, tried to include videos where I'm using you know their tools into one playlist so you'll find there the different punch boards that I use um, you know these two binding um, tools and and uh, other kind of specialty punch boards. I do use the um, the all-in-one tool, but I use that every time I craft. So I don't include uh, those videos in in my uh, We Are Memory Keepers playlist because it would basically be all of my videos. But um, if you want, if you're curious to see the projects that I um, showed at the beginning. Hopefully I will have left cards at the upper right hand corner when I talked about each of these. So if you want to see how I made uh, these projects specifically, then uh, there should have been some links up at the right hand corner for you. But if not, you'll also find these in that We Are Memory Keepers playlist. So I will um, leave links in the description box below to these three systems. I'll try to find them at multiple online retailers so that you can shop around. Sometimes you'll see, you'll have coupon offers, you'll have special um, discounts, promotions, etc. So definitely shop around, especially if you are interested in either of the cinch because they are a little bit spendier. So it's well worth it if you don't need it in a rush to maybe wait for a sale. So I'll try to find it at multiple retailers and um, that way you can do a little price comparison or just shop, you know, from your favorite retailer. Thank you for watching my video. I hope it was helpful. And if it was, please consider liking, commenting, and sharing. And if you'd like to catch new videos as I publish them, consider subscribing to my channel and ringing the notification bell. Thanks so much. Until next time, happy crafting and have a fantastic day. Bye.